everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of vlogmas and if you need to catch up on yesterday's video i will have that linked on the end screen of this video so you can go back and watch that but i'm excited for you guys to uh spend december with me i always love vlogmas it's sort of like a low pressure way to <laughs> vlog and share all month so it's early it's about 6 a.m um, we're just getting up and around i got ready I am going to be um, working from home today, so I'm just going to take you along with me. But since today is actually December 1st, I got the advent calendars out for the kids, so I'll show you that quick. And my glasses are fogging up. So Connor got the Lego um, Star Wars advent calendar. He normally gets a Lego um, advent calendar, and this is the newer version of what he had last year. And then I got Kira a... Um, Harry Potter one. I got. I found this at Walmart actually, um, and it's kind of cool because it has like little drawers that pull out for each day. So she's not awake yet, but when she does, I'll have her open it. I don't know. She's kind of getting out of the Harry Potter phase a little bit, but there was really slim pickings for things for her. So anyway, I hope she likes it. So I was also going to show you guys the ornaments that I got Adam and the kids this year. So every year. I buy each of them an ornament, um, mostly for the kids to take with them when they move out, but I like to buy the Hallmark keepsake ornaments and then I write a little note to them on the box. But this is the one that I got Connor. It is a Nerf um, basketball hoop and I thought that was fitting since we got a basketball hoop this year and he spent a lot of the time um, a lot of time during the summer out in the driveway <laughs> practicing that. So I got, that's when I got him. And then Kira, I just had a hard time finding something like age appropriate for her. I don't know. It's like all like little girl stuff, like Disney princesses. And she's definitely not into that anymore. Um, but she did watch Stranger Things this year. And so I got her the Demogorgon, <laughs> which I agree is kind of an odd ornament, but, uh, that's what I got for her. And then for Adam, I got him this, Zelda ornament here I'll open it. it's actually a replica of the Nintendo game which he played a lot <laughs> when he was a kid and I just thought it was so cool it's very heavy it's actually like real metal I don't know I think it's a really cool ornament so yeah I got that for him and I'll probably have to buy myself one too but I don't normally get myself a keepsake one. Oh, actually I normally get myself the Starbucks ornament and I already got that this year, so I'm good. And my advent calendar this year is a Nespresso coffee advent calendar. So I think this one is just like a standard coffee. It's not like a flavored one or anything, but I thought that would be fun for me to have every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee and uh, get to work. I'm working from home today. All right, so it's lunchtime, and I saw that the UPS person, I almost said UPS man, but it might not be a man, just came and brought my Green Chef box, so that is good because I didn't know what I was gonna cook for dinner tonight, and now I know. So I have three delicious meals to choose from, which is a bonus because I feel a little bit stressed out today, and now I don't have to think about dinner. So what did I have for lunch today, you might ask? Well, I had leftover. <laughs> leftover takeout. I had leftover Chinese food. Uh, it's actually good. I love this almond chicken that we can get from like literally the one place that delivers food <laughs> in our town that's not pizza, uh, at least our house anyway. So I had leftover almond chicken and rice. Uh, I didn't think I would show that to you guys because it was pretty unexciting. But yeah, definitely uh, feeling a little bit stressed out today. Um, but my lunch is almost over, so I'm gonna get back to work. This is actually uh, my last week at my current job before I moved to my new one, and uh, just trying to get everything wrapped up after, you know, seven years in this job and 12 years in the department I'm in. It's just, it's a, it's a little overwhelming for me, but we're, 
we're pushing through. Okay, so I'm done with work now. It's after 4 p.m. And I thought I would give you guys an update on my pantry situation. I'm just doing a little bit of straightening up in the kitchen. But I really, really like these clear bins that I got at Walmart and I need to get more of them. I actually forgot to look when I was there the other day, but Maybe I can just order some online, but I think that they are super helpful if you have pantry shelves like me that are tall and it gets kind of unruly to stack <laughs> all of these cans up. But these are super convenient because like in this one I have like all beans and this one I have all tomatoes. This one is kind of a mix of stuff, but um, they are a little bit heavy once you get a lot of cans in there, but they do have handles so that is helpful. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would update you on that. I think I'm going to unload the dishwasher, straighten up the kitchen a little bit, and then maybe go get a coffee. I just, sometimes I just have to get out of the house. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can, can feel me there. I just need to go through the drive through and get a Starbucks. So what do you guys think about the new specs? Uh, these are from Warby Parker and I really like them. I was looking for a pair of clear ones and um, this is not sponsored <laughs> by Warby Parker. I purchased them with my own money, but I got a couple different pairs and I really, I like them. I'm sure some people won't like them, but um, I think especially like if you, if you wear glasses like me, I actually wear contacts too, but I prefer to wear glasses. It's fun to have different pairs to switch them up and these are kind of inexpensive, so. Yeah, I kind of like them. Okay, so I'm going to try to get some things straightened up in the kitchen. As you can see, my kitchen is kind of a mess right now. Uh, I try not to show you guys like perfect things. And if you know me, you know that my house is never, <laughs> is never perfectly clean or straightened up just because I feel like for a lot of us, that's an unrealistic expectation, especially if you are a full-time working person like me, either in the home or outside the home. Um, there's just, you know, the stuff of life that piles up everywhere, like recipes and boxes and cookbooks and dishes and <laughs> whatever you have going on. So I'm just unloading the dishwasher. I needed to get all of those things put away. I try to have at least a clean, uh, empty dishwasher before I start dinner. That way, as I'm cooking, I can kind of shift all the dirty dishes into the dishwasher and it's just easy to clean up after dinner. Um, you guys have asked me how we are liking our new silverware, that dark color, and I really like it. I got it on Amazon, so I'll try to find it and link it down below low, but I just think that it's different. It's not like the, you know, traditional uh, color of silverware. It's, it's a really great kind of nice change. So we are really enjoying that. So I got the dishwasher partially loaded and I'm going to start that up. Okay. So I went and got myself a coffee they have the new Irish cream cold brew. So I got a venti with extra ice and only one pump of Irish cream syrup. It's supposed to get three pumps, but that's way too sweet for me. And, um, uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to get started on cooking dinner. Thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them, and you guys know that I have showcased their delicious meals several times. But I went with the Carb Conscious box this week, and I actually also got a free gift, this uh, AHA sparkling water. So that was an awesome surprise in my box. I had three dishes to choose from, and I went ahead and went with the mozzarella pork stuffed meatloaves because I felt like it was giving a pizza vibe and that's what sounded good tonight. So I'm going to get started by washing some of the produce. Uh, they included some rainbow chard and so I'm just washing that up. We're going to saute that in a pan with some peppers. It was really good, uh, garlicky and flavorful. That's one of the things that I always appreciate about Green Chef is that their flavors are super spot on and the sauces and the seasonings that they include in their boxes are so delicious. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they include dishes for a variety of lifestyles. They have vegan boxes, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. So there is literally something for everyone no matter what kind of diet you're on. Most of the recipes are quick and easy. They have step-by-step -step instructions. There are also chef tips included and lots of photos to guide you along. I really do like the size of their recipe cards. They're large and colorful and I like to save them in my recipe binder. Especially during the holiday 
holiday season when it's super busy and I have a lot of things to do. Uh, services like Green Chef help me get dinner on the table and I don't even have to think about it. I love that the ingredients come pre-measured and portioned and mostly prepped. So the prep time for the actual meal is often minimal. Most of these dishes can be prepared in around 30 minutes. If you guys want to try out Green Chef, I have an awesome offer for you. They are offering my viewers $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. I'll leave all the information in the description box below, but you can go to greenchef.us slash genchapen90 and use code genchapen90 to get $90 off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.us slash genchapen90 and use code genchapen90. I know that you guys will love it. Let me know uh, what you end up ordering. Like I said, I have never had a bad experience with their boxes. The meals are totally delicious and help me get dinner on the table super quick and easy, which is what I definitely need during this time. So I mixed the ingredients together for the meatloaves and stuffed those with mozzarella cheese, topped them with this delicious roasted red pepper marinara, and I'm going to bake those in the oven at 400 degrees. Uh, these mushrooms actually were supposed to be mixed in with the greens when I cooked them, but Adam is the only one here that likes mushrooms, so I decided to saute them separately and it worked out just fine. Just always remember, even when you're getting uh, meal kits like Green Chef, you can definitely customize them to meet your family's needs. So right here, I'm just sauteing up my peppers and the stems from the chard until those are nice and soft. And then once those are cooked through a little bit, I'm going to add the greens along with some water, some salt and pepper, and some crushed garlic as well as a few red pepper flakes. I would say go easy on the red pepper flakes unless you like it really spicy, but it did give a really good flavor. And then I'm just sauteing these mushrooms up in a little bit of butter and olive oil. And here is what our dinner looked like. Uh, cheese stuffed meatloaves with roasted red pepper tomato sauce, some greens and some sauteed mushrooms. This turned out so delicious and it definitely gave a pizza vibe without all of the calories and carbs of a pizza crust. So delicious. All right, so update dinner was delicious. <laughs> I always love getting those Green Chef meal kits because it typically is something that I wouldn't think of to make. Like those meatloaf, those little mini meatloafs tasted like pizza and they were the bomb. So right now it's eight o'clock and I've been working on um, this video for probably the last hour and a half, but I finally got it done. I had to do a voiceover for part of it. This is actually gonna be my huge Vlogmas day one um, video, which is always a Thanksgiving prep and shop and cook with me, which is one of my favorite videos to make every year. So that's what is exporting right now. It's actually an hour and eight minutes long. <laughs> so I wanted to get it done last night so I could have time to just post it this evening and I wouldn't have to work on it, but it just didn't work out that way. I was too tired last night. So now what I need to do is I need to go make Connor's bed because I washed his sheets this evening. And then um, I think I'm going to have the kids take baths, showers, whatever. And then I need to take a shower tonight too and um, decide if there's anything else I want to do in the kitchen. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Connor, come take a shower, please. All right, so I'm gonna get started on some of that laundry I was talking about. I did uh, throw Connor's sheets in the washer on this evening after I got done working. And so I got those out of the dryer and I'm gonna make his bed in a little bit. And then I also had some towels I want to wash. I do try to stay, uh, stay caught up on laundry during the week so I don't have as much to do on the weekend. It doesn't always work, but <laughs> that's always what I strive to do. Um, Adam also brought the vacuum up from downstairs. He was using it in the basement and I decided on a whim to vacuum the hallway. I actually prefer to do my cleaning in like smaller chunks of time rather than spend like all day on the weekend cleaning. I just find it's more manageable for me to do things in small chunks, um, especially like at night on the weekdays. I don't know. Let me know what you guys do. I don't particularly enjoy cleaning. I mean, I do it just because it has to be done, but I'm not definitely not one of those people that enjoys it. Um, I was making Connor's bed. He actually does not prefer like a comforter or anything on his bed. He's a very hot sleeper, he says. And so I just have like a um, full size, like fleece blanket that I got from Walmart and that's what he uses. Next, I'm going to open my cheese advent calendar from Aldi. Yum. 
All right, it is, what time is it? Oh man, it's 10.30, so I'm gonna take a shower and uh, start getting ready for bed. So while the shower is heating up, I'm gonna to start to take some of my makeup off. My favorite eye makeup remover is the Clinique Take the Day Off, and I'm sorry for the lighting here. The camera is <laughs> struggling in my dimly lit bathroom. Um, then I'm gonna brush my teeth before I hop into the shower. Do you guys take a shower at night or in the morning? I always, I don't know. I used to be a morning shower, but with this new like routine I've tried to implement, I find that I'm really liking, yes, I have a towel on. <laughs> I find that I'm really liking the night shower because, I don't know, I feel like it just relaxes me and I feel very clean <laughs> and ready to go to bed. So anyway, I'm just going to do my skincare and uh, hopefully crawl into bed by 11, which is coming soon here. But I wanted to say thank you for coming along with me today on this day of Vlogmas. Thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out in the description box below. There is an awesome coupon code for you down there. This is the perfect month to try it with all of the craziness of the holiday going on. So thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.